now. Um, a very hard worker. Um, incredibly smart. Um, I guess a little bit confused in life. Um, really good person. And then, because because he's he's missing still, we have to look at see what would be the benefits of legally declaring him dead. So that was kind of one of the points where I was like, well, he is dead, but is it going to be worth it to say that? Kimi not have been perfect, but he was a really good dad. Um, and he really cared. <laughs> I'm getting better at it, though. Like, I've started like, looking at photos, and I have more of an understanding of how much things can mean to you. So I think it'll definitely affect me in relationships um, with people because I care a lot, but I'm really scared of losing people. I change things. Um, you know when you're a kid and your parents get asked you to go hiking or go climbing, and you're like, I really don't want to. <laughs> and I really wish she could have stayed around a bit longer because now I I love corner rock climbing and I like skiing so much more and I would have been so much more into doing stuff that he really wanted me to. It's more just you really miss the person. Mm -hmm. um, and being able to talk to them and call them. <laughs> and I remember the night when he went missing I was supposed to call him. Or he was supposed to call me and I didn't even notice that he didn't call. <laughs> if you could say anything to him now, but you only have a short time to say it, what, what would you say to him? I miss you. <laughs> um, I love you. <laughs> I really wish I could spend more time with you. And I'm really glad that you were my dad. Keep your head up. Keep your head up. Nothing there to see of the car.